been touring um, our neighboring countries, um, trying to strengthen relations, as you put it. Um, you were recently in South Africa. And just immediately, when you'd just gone to South Africa, um, an incident happened. Um, we had issues that um, a Malawian national by the name Prophet Shepherd Bushiri had fled the country um, amid speculation that he was, um, it, it, not just speculation, but he had been... He'd been taken to court, he'd been arrested, there were a, a lot of issues surrounding him. Now, um, I want to get it from you. What is the stand of the Malawi government? You go to strengthen bilateral relations and then immediately something crops up that would actually disturb what you had gone to discuss. Well, uh, quite unfortunate that uh, uh, the incident you've referred to coincided uh, with the president's visit. Uh, but maybe I think it would help the nation to have a little bit of background. Uh, you see, when uh, uh, we embarked uh, uh, on a journey uh, to visit uh, or to pay KDC calls uh, to our neighboring countries, uh, South Africa was amongst uh, the first five countries that we had decided to visit. And uh, we did get in touch with these countries. Uh, uh, they responded to us. Now, South Africa, when they responded, uh, they did indicate that uh, the time that we had proposed was not uh, uh, convenient to them and therefore they decided uh, on different dates which were the dates that the president actually visited. Now uh, you, when uh, you talk about uh, the issue of Prophet Bushiri it has been ongoing for a long time and all, we all know about that and uh, it so happened that uh, uh, the very week the president was to leave for South Africa uh, is the week that uh, uh, Prophet uh, Bushiri left South Africa for Malawi. That was sheer coincidence. And uh, there was no prearrangement or anything of that nature. Uh, now, that puts, uh, put us uh, uh, in a fix, sort of, uh, because uh, 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 the escape, if I may call it, uh, uh, coincided with the president's visit and ordinarily uh, one would be tempted to think uh, that uh, maybe uh, the president's visit had everything to do with uh, 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 the escape uh, when, in a, uh, uh, when the matter of fact is uh, the two are mutually exclusive. They are independent of each other. Uh, there was no correlation, there was no premeditation, there was no pre-planning uh, whatsoever. Uh, so uh, the, vi the president's visit in South Africa focused on strengthening the relationship between South Africa and Malawi. And um, uh, when this thing happened, uh, you see there were subsequent uh, uh, events that took place. Uh, there were happenings uh, following that event. Uh, but we must not lose the primary focus, which is bettering the relations between South Africa and Malawi. And uh, we're talking about the issue of Prophet Bushiri. The president has made it very clear that Malawi is a nation that is run using laws and uh, it is his firm belief that uh, 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 the judicial processes will take uh, 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 their course and uh, ultimately a way out will be reached. So uh, we are, as that now, allowing the rule of law to take its course uh, and this is one of our, uh, uh, one of our pillars, and uh, we believe that uh, uh, the judiciary in Malawi, which is independent, is going to make uh, uh, sound decisions uh, based on law and, and all that. Now, um, now that you mentioned that um, the aim of the trip was to strengthen relations, but if you follow closely the reports that are on the South African media, they really show something literally different. Um, it's like they're fueling this whole issue. Um, what's your stand on that? And how do you clear yourself internationally on what is going on? Look here, uh, I, I think there's a lot that has been written on social media, mainstream media, both print and uh, uh, electronic, uh, but uh, we are government. Uh, and uh, in South Africa, there is a government. 
and the government has issued uh, has issued a statement uh, which clearly indicates that uh, the president did not take part uh, in whatever happened uh, in as far as the, uh, uh, the uh, Bushiris movement from South Africa to Mao is concerned. And we have also given a statement uh, in that regard. So I, I, I think we should not be moved by what social media is, is saying or what the mainstream media is saying. Uh, we must uh, uh, depend heavily on what the two governments are saying because uh, truth be told, South African government has got intelligence, Malay government has got intelligence, and when we make statements, we make statements based on intelligence, not speculation. Now, um, it, it was also said, I, I'd like to get it clear here on record, it was speculated that your visit there was calculated, that you had gone prior to the president's visit because you wanted to meet Prophet Bashiri. And, um, facilitate his coming back home because he's being persecuted, so to say. Um, how do you respond to that? Look here, um, I'm talking about uh, my going to South African advance. It's not a unique feature. Uh, all the countries that we've visited, uh, South Africa, I said, is the fifth country. Uh, I have gone in advance, and we, I will always go in. Ad I mean, I will go ahead of the president. Uh, because uh, uh, when I go there, I must make sure that, that the ground is uh, prepared for the president to come and meet uh, his counterpart and stuff like that. I'm talking about uh, uh, meeting uh, Bushiri. Uh, it is speculation. Uh, and this speculation is coming from the fact that uh, I had pictures taken with uh, Kelvin Slugwe, who once worked with Prophet Bushiri, but ceased or stopped working with Prophet Bushiri in 2016. And for those people that have been following, he normally posts about me uh, on his Facebook page. And when he heard that I was going to South Africa, where he is currently, uh, he made sure that he made me. And those pictures, some of those pictures were taken at the hotel, and uh, some of the pictures were taken at Manly Moor, which is close to the hotel where I was. So people have uh, misinterpreted the pictures uh, to mean uh, that uh, I met Bushiri just because I met uh, Kelvin uh, Sulugwe. Besides, when you try to reconcile what happened, uh, one would clear, uh, clearly see uh, that uh, what is happening is clear speculation. Uh, because uh, Bushiri himself made a statement to the effect that uh, he came to Malawi on a Wednesday. And uh, I was in South Africa on Monday. Now, Bushiri did not fly out of South Africa f from the media, at least uh, getting it from the media. Uh, if we would rely them from, uh, on the information that is coming from the uh, social media, uh, uh, he came here by road. And uh, if he came here by road, what it means is that he did not leave on, on, on Wednesday. He might have left a day or two earlier in order for him to arrive in Malawi on Wednesday. Uh, which makes it uh, laughable uh, when people say that I met Bushiri on Tuesday. I must put it on the record. On the said Tuesday, I never met uh, Prophet Bushiri. All right. Um, still on that issue, and finally on that issue, um, all that is going on between South Africa and Malawi in relation to Prophet Bushiri, will it not strain the relations that you're working so hard to mend? It is my firm belief that this would not in any way strain the relationship between South Africa and Malawi. I believe that it is quite normal in a relationship that you would have ups and downs. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, a relationship would be strained simply because there is a, a hiccup or there is a, uh, uh, a down, if I would call it. Uh, I, I believe that uh, uh, this is a big taste in as far as our relationship is concerned. But we are working to thumbnail. We are working our level based uh, to make sure that the relationship doesn't get strained. Uh, that is why we say it on this side. We will allow uh, judicial processes to take their course because we believe uh, in the rule of law. So uh, we believe that the judiciary will independently work 
uh, uh, on these matters based uh, on the laws that are governing this country. You're watching NBC Exclusive. Our guest this week is the Foreign Affairs Minister Eisenhower Gaga.